good morning good afternoon good evening depending with where you're watching this video from my name is victor and i'll just like to take this opportunity to thank you if you are a returning subscriber thank you for making this your home and if this is your first time visiting this channel kindly consider subscribing you can kindly give me a like you can comment on this video and you can actually share this video this will actually help me in the youtube algorithm so today we'll be we will we'll be solving this particular question and before i start on i just have a disclaimer that this video is for educational purposes only cheating or any other activity that violates academic honesty guidelines is highly discouraged the problem set and presented in this video is owned by harvard university as you can see so i will go straight away and read the prompt so the prompt reads meal time suppose that you're in a country where it is customary to eat breakfast between 7 and 8 a.m lunch between 12 noon and 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 1 p.m and dinner between 6 and 7 p.m will it be nice if you had a program that could tell you what to eat when in a in a in a python file named mail implement a program mm -hmm. that prompts the user for a time and outputs whether it's breakfast lunch or dinner time if it's not if it's not time for a meal don't output anything at all assume that the user input will be formatted in 24 hours using that and assume that each meal time range is inclusive for instance Structure your program per below wherein convert is a function that can be called by the main and converts time a string in 24 hours to a corresponding number of hours as a float. For instance, given a time like 7.30, which is 7 hours 30 minutes, convert will return 7.5 hours. So we are going to go straight to, to the action. Let me just close this. So we are going to say, first of all, we are going to begin define main. And what this does, the, the main function serves as the entry point of the program. Then we are going to prompt, we are going to prompt the user for a time eh? so we are going to come with a variable named time and you're going to use or rather utilize the input function whereby you're going to ask the the user to enter the time enter the time in 24 hour format and we can actually we can guide we can guide them by doing that then what you are going to do we are going now to convert the time into hours eh? so we are going to come up with another variable hours and we are going to say this to time eh? then after this what you are going to do we are going to check the time and output the corresponding meal eh? so so the prompt says that breakfast is eaten between 7 and 8 am so we are going to say if if so that is 7. Eh? So we are going to have it 0, 7, 0, 0. Is less than or equal to hours. Hours. And less than 0, 8 like that we are going to say sorry 
we are going to say uh, sorry uh, this is bringing a confusion let us use decimals yes that should work so we are going to say if so we are going to say print it is time for breakfast like that so we are going to say a leaf a leaf we are going to go to lunch time and you can see here lunch time is being served between 12 hours to 13 hours We should be able to print to us it is it is lunch time so to make work easier I can now just copy this and use it for dinner and say if it's between 6 p.m. that is 18 to around 19 that is 7 p.m. it is dinner it is dinner it is dinner time so else if it's any other time other than this we want a program not to print anything so we're going to have that then we are now going to call in a function that's going to convert time then if we're going to say convert Convert time. Convert time, which is up there. So, uh, what we're going to do then, after doing that, we're going to split the time into hours and minutes. So, we are going to say hours and minutes. And we are going to use the split function. We are going to use the split function. So this split function, this split function actually splits the time into hours and minutes. Then we are going to proceed and convert hours and minutes into integer. So what you're going to do, sorry, not integer, but float. So we are going to do float. So this is going to convert the hours. And the minutes is going to convert the minutes into floats as well. Eh? So, um, after that, we are going to convert the minutes to decimal hours because the prompt. The prompt talked about the corresponding number of hours as a float. For instance, given a time that is 1.30, it should be 7 hours 30 minutes. So 
we are going to come up with another variable and this variable is going now to convert decimal hours decimal hours to hours plus minutes then this one we are going to divide by 16 so and we are going to return decimal hours then we are going now to say we are going now to check if the script is being run as the main module and we are going now just to ensure that it returns the calculated decimal hours from the converted function eh? so we are going to end our program by saying if then now we are going to import it is equal to now the main we are going to say main like that so we can just check it and I really appreciate see you in the next um, something like 12 32 24 that should be lunch and last but not least we can have something like 18 zero five that should be dinner and thank you our program works so thank you for your time kindly share like comment on this video See you in the next video.